all right what's going on guys so i want to make this video straight to the point there ain't going to be any like filler stuff or b-roll none of that stuff it's just going to be straight to the point so you guys can get this done all right Now this is for someone that's gonna either relocate their battery or they relocated their fuse box or just something that they moved that they're gonna have to extend the wires. Either you move the battery to the trunk or you relocated your fuse box to the glove box or you put it underneath the dash like I did. But I'm gonna show you guys basically how I do it and how Honda pretty much puts together their harness and we're gonna pretty much copy that and just extend it and make it longer. If you're missing out on my raffles, we do a raffle every month. We are doing that one today on Halloween. So shout outs to everybody that joined. I only do it on the live stream. So if you guys don't have your bell notifications and all that set up, yeah, someone is winning us today and we do a raffle every month, guys. Now in front of me, I got a OEM RSX Type S charge harness. Now let's go through the wires that you're gonna need off your OEM harness. And I didn't wanna take this apart completely, but basically just to keep it simple, you're just gonna need this one here and this plug right here. So as long as you grab this one, which goes to your starter and this one, you should be good. All right guys, so you're gonna have your fuse box, right? Open this up. You're gonna have two points right here. One's gonna go straight to your battery. This further one that's on this side, if you follow it across the harness, that one's going straight to your battery, guys. So this further one is gonna go straight to your battery. And then from there, it's gonna go to your starter, which is this black one we were talking about. And then your alternator, which is this gray plug, is gonna need power as well. So that's gonna come straight from this one. So this one goes straight to your alternator and this one goes to your battery and then from your battery it goes to your starter that's it guys it's pretty simple tape tape measure uh, something to crimp the uh, lugs with something to cut with another cutter screwdriver knife some type of torch or a lighter and a knife that's about it um i would say get a wrench set or something but um yeah that's about it guys And I'm going to post a couple uh, links in the description. Make sure you guys check those out. That's where you can get everything. All right, so stuff I'm going to be using, right? Um, this you can get at Harbor Freight. It's like a plastic loom. I got a bunch of these heat shrinks. You're going to need this. And then we got the material we ordered, Amazon. This was all one kit right here. This brings 10 lugs. And then it also includes pretty much everything you'll need. Some heat shrink. This is two gauge wire. I say this is pretty good. I would even suggest like zero gauge or one gauge if you're going to like the trunk or something. All right, we're moving right along. I like to use these guys. You could also reuse the ones that you have here. Obviously they're dirty, but these will work as well. So you could take these off, reuse them if you have to. Battery terminals. This I got off Amazon, really good ones guys. And I believe these are like brass at the ends. They tighten up really good. They don't come loose. It's not like the ones you get at Walmart. Looming, half inch. Where is it? Right there is what you're gonna need for two gauge wire. 30 feet should be plenty. You guys can get all the different colors. I believe they got like red, blue, whatever. Open this up, come over here. So a lot of you guys know that your battery pretty much goes right here. Fuse box is right here. I'll show you guys my setup. I got my alternator wire you guys probably can't see it too good but it's this one right here i wrapped it in plastic and you guys can see it's right here going to the alternator so straight from the fuse box to this alternator and then you're gonna need one from the other side of the fuse box all the way to your starter or to your battery then the starter so my fuse box is right here guys it doesn't get in the way of my foot or anything like it's in a good spot my power wires are right here heading to the fuse box two of them they go across through here you can see two black wires right here here's one and here's the other one and then they just go across through here and then what you want to do is pretty much drop the this glove box take it off there's a clip right here you guys see that and then there's a clip here take this bottom cover off 
that comes off too. There's like five clips right here. Take this cover off, which is really easy. You could just pop it right here. And then I'm gonna show you the path where you can get out this door really easily. And just because I love you guys, I'm gonna take this fender off for you guys. And then um, I'll go ahead and show you guys how I have it set up. All right, so remember guys, you're gonna run two from the fuse box, right? Wherever your fuse box is, under there, both your wires. You're gonna come out through here. There's gonna be, you're gonna have to remove this little kick panel, probably this this panel right here. And then there's gonna be a hole there. I'm gonna show you where it is. So you come over here. This, you're gonna have this little cover here. I made a hole right here just for the two power wires. You guys see them? I'll show you a little better of what I did. Cut it like that. Here, I'll back up a little so you guys can see. All right guys, so the opening is right down there. That's the wires for the door that go through. You're going to use that same hole right there. That's right above this thing here. This little grommet right here. It's going to go right in there. And that's going to bring you inside the car. Really easy to do, guys. These are my two lines for AC. You don't pay attention to that. But basically, you just zip tie. You can use these things. You can get a Harbor Freight zip ties or whatever. So just secure it. Make sure it's inside and above your fender liner if you still have one of these. So remember, one's going to go from the fuse box where I showed you guys all the way to your alternator. My alternator one, you could do it however you want, but I kind of just went down through there, came up through here again, like out through here behind a headlight, and then I went right to the alternator. So one's gonna hit the alternator through there, one's gonna go straight down and hit your, uh, your battery, your positive side. And then from the battery, you're gonna hop over to your starter. So you can come out right back through here with the other one and hit your starter, which is over there. All right, guys, so I kind of just snuck it behind here just to get a rough measurement. This isn't for me. It's for somebody else. I'm just using this to make a video. So roughly, that's where my fuse box is up there. So I just labeled it alternator. That'll be the first one. Ran it through here just to get a rough number. I can continue measuring on this side. All right, so on this side, there's my little mark right there. That's where it's like kind of going through the wall. So we're going to route it like that over. Now I'm just going to get my measurement from here to the alternator. I'm going to go ahead and use these pliers that I told you guys probably going to need. The alternator side should be all set now. Alright, so from the fuse box all the way to the alternator is exactly 12 feet. All right, now for your starter wire, I'm gonna end up using the other one. Since we know our measurement from over there, the fuse box, all the way over to where the door opening is, we can reuse that measurement, which we marked on this wire right here to the door. So with the black wire, mark it at that same spot. You'll know that's gonna at least get you to the door. And then all we're gonna do, we're gonna need a measurement from here to your battery. My battery is relocated right there. Obviously, if your battery is somewhere else, you're gonna have to do a different measurement. Oh, and if you guys want the measurement to the door, the measurement to the door is 64 inches. So I see the whole wire from the fuse box all the way over to the battery. That's gotta be 11 feet. All right, so one more time, your alternator is all set. We did that one. And now your black wire is from your fuse box all the way to where your battery is in the bumper. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this right there. That should be pretty good. All right, so now you should have that left from your black wire and this left from your red wire. So now for your starter, same thing guys. You're probably gonna come out through here. It's all preference. You guys can route this however you want. I say that should make it to the, to the starter. Take the other end, which is gonna go to your battery. And I say right around here, more than enough. So I'm gonna pull that out and give you guys a measurement for this one. All right guys, so from the battery to the starter should be, so it's right here. You're gonna follow it along. I'm gonna give you guys a measurement right now. Eight feet should be plenty. So we got 12 for the alternator. We got 11 to the battery. And then from the battery to the starter, we got, um eight feet so i'm gonna go ahead clean this mess up put my fender back on you guys freaking owe me so now those are all set 
come over here to this loom this is all linked down below guys in the description it'll protect the wire a little bit when it's going through the firewall and when it's running in the engine bay or whatever i guess we'll start with the one that's eight feet long slide it in through there just bunch it up like that and it'll start just sliding through i got two more to do and then i'll get back to you guys all right there it is looks pretty good let me see we needed like about another five feet i would say but it's okay because i'll add some of that plastic loom we were talking about earlier grab this thing over here this is to crimp i believe this kit brings 10 of these all right let's go ahead you can use a knife like this pretty much at the end of each one of these so you're gonna have two here two here and then two on your other one you want to just want to cut this here like that so once you got that so it's gonna go in like that so that's plenty right there none of it showing over here on this side and most of it got all the way to the bottom over there with this thing right here this has different settings i might do 25 and 16 so it'll say 25 on the top 16 on the bottom i might try that first if it's not tight enough i'll just crimp it again all right so you just put it in between like that crimp down i'd say that's not tight enough i'd go tighter so we'll do between 16 and 50 so 16 on the top 50 on the bottom so right there we'll crimp it again oh yeah this one's much tighter guys so right there that thing ain't going nowhere like i can already feel it's not going nowhere this is also included in this kit i have so what we're gonna do is cut enough to get to here so once you slide that on i'd say use one of these torch things like this don't use the regular lighter ones it'll take forever like using this <laughs> little beaver one if you use this it'll work but you know you're gonna be there a while so use this way quicker go all the way around so yeah that's it finished product of that beautiful it's loomed i'm gonna go ahead and finish that one this one i'll show you guys the end result Hopefully you guys can see this good because um, it's kind of hard to show you guys. Yeah, it's all loomed pretty good. Show you guys this one. So this loom. All right, so let's go through this, guys, one more time. How are you going to wire this? You guys should understand it by now, but I'm going to explain it one more time. Fuse box to alternator. Alternator to your battery. Battery to your starter. All right, guys, so last part, this is your fuse box, right? Usually these things go right here. So alternator will be this one. Starter will be this one. So if you do want to keep it OEM, basically take that off, put it here, right? And you could just bend this down right here. To bend it down, you're just going to grab one of these channel locks, probably something like that. Then you're able to drop that in and you'll have that nice angle right there. So you could do that for this one and this one, and I'll show you guys that the cover can just go right over it. You guys see? Here's the back side of it. That way you're covered and you're good. I would probably, if I was you guys, since this is gonna hang down and this is gonna be exposed, I would say maybe tape it and throw some of this on there just so you're good. So we got two more things to do, guys. We got the two ends right here. One goes at your alternator, one goes at your starter. These are stud terminal covers. Whichever end, it doesn't even matter. Gonna slide this over this. Really easy, guys. There, all done. This is gonna cover this end, just so that's not exposed. So now you need the two ends that are gonna go to your battery. So what you're gonna do, gonna take this off gonna go on your positive this one on this side so that's on there like that you're gonna take off the other side i really like doing it like this and just tighten it up man so it doesn't go anywhere so just like that man this thing ain't going nowhere super tight i just i love this style like this whatever wire you had left get yourself some extra loom so you're gonna need one from your battery to your chassis and then you're gonna need another one from this one from your battery to the transmission and that'll keep it like oem all right guys so shout out to hyro this uh harness is actually for him for his rsx shit <laughs> i just burped so you're all set bro there's my mess i've been filming this video for maybe three hours now but we got it all done it's pretty fast for me because you know, I've done this a couple times. Again, guys, make sure this stuff is copper, guys. Don't use speaker wire or like stuff for like subs and whatever. So here's the before. This is like the old, the old wire. And I believe, I believe that 
we completely like upgraded this thing it's a lot nicer it's thicker wire hopefully this video helped you guys out i uh plan on doing the same thing for the em2 build there's the uh, subframe and all the stuff that i got to bring over to the garage just so we can get started on that i will see you guys on the next video i believe the next one's gonna be the abs delete you guys can do that yourself for like i don't know a hundred dollars or something like that save you guys some money hopefully we can get back on our grind and put some more videos out but anyways i'll check you guys out have a good one this thing turned out awesome